You are not allowed to do video like that. You joking? No, I'm not joking. I'm trick now with the managers. So welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're here in Tamworth taking a look at this place. It's a little bit confusing as places. We've got GXO, DHL, and on Google it says Premier Food. So before we dig deeper, let's just have a look at the signs. Normally the signs on the site are the most up to date. Bit of information about parking there. They are using this little area here for parking. I'm not sure whether this is on their site or not, just here. But we have a little drop curb here and a little pavement. So we'll just see where it leads to. Get a different vantage point. See, as we look behind us, it just uh, looks wrong, doesn't it? No. HGV entry and then you've got all them cars parked there but maybe it passed that point is their land I don't know let's see well, that vehicle looked like a DHL driver that's there a 73 plate it's a new vehicle isn't it very nice uh, we've got some sort of motorbike here covered up and whatever that is an old locker of some sort it's a bit messy up the front here. Down at the back, what have we got? Some sort of tanks there, or generators, whatever they might be. And of course, an open barrier. I think the HDV entrance is down here, and this must be just the exit, and that lane isn't used anymore. So I might actually be standing on their land at the moment. So I think I will return back over there where I've put the bike, do the filming from there. DHL tractor unit, waiting his turn. <laughs> Very professional. Oh yeah, we've got somebody employed by DHL on the phone right now. So on premierfoods.co.uk, you can see the Tamworth XPO warehouse listed. There is a photo saying XPO Logistics, but I presume DHL are the new handler of the logistics here. Warehousing and logistics. So Premier Foods, about us, at a glance. As one of the UK's largest food producers, we're passionate about food and believe each and every day we have the opportunity to enrich life for everyone. We employ 4,000 dedicated colleagues operating from 15 sites across the country, supplying a range of retail, wholesale, food service, and other customers with our iconic brands, which feature in millions of homes every day. Okay. And then we've got a map, and it sort of tells you what depot deal with what brand. Workshop, for example, Bachelors, Bisto, Home Pride. Can I ask what is the reason to make a video? YouTube. YouTube? Is uh, what reason? What about? I don't know yet. I just let the video. Someone sent you here? Uh, no. No? Just me. Are you allowed to do that video? Please. Hello. Yeah, he do that video for uh, YouTube. Exactly, that one I mean. You need permission to do that one. From who? From DHL. Who? What's his name? From DHL, you need to have permission to do that video. Yeah, who? You? Who? Who at DHL? Who is DHL? Mister. Mister what? Is DHL like a company? You know who is DHL? Yeah. So you need to speak first with them and after to make a video. You are not allowed to do video like that. You joking? No, I'm not joking. I'm trick now with the managers. What, is the manager here? Yes. Ask him then. Can I make a video? Ask for permission. Hello. Okay, wait a 
loudspeaker. Hmm? Loudspeaker. Uh, you can speak with him. Uh, you are on the on the speaker. Hello, mate. Can you hear me, all right? Yes, I can. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, who are you, mate? Where are you from, please? I'm just a member of the public with a YouTube channel. So, um, what's your channel about? Because I'm a bit confused why you want to record the front of our gate house. Well, just to highlight things, just for the video. Just to say what I think of the place. Because normally you'll need, you'll need um, permission from the, um, the landowner because it's actually a GXO site, not a DHO site as well. That's the, the other thing. Yeah, yeah. I'm currently standing on the public pavement. Has your colleague told you that? Yes, I know you're on the public highway part of things. Yeah. You're also filming into private land, which is owned by GXO. Yeah, I think the Google Street Card did the same thing. Yeah, but they have permission. Who from? From the landowners. So when the Google Street Card drove around the whole area, they asked for permission first, did they, of everyone? We could go around in circles all day, mate. If you want to. I'm in no rush. So basically for your own little satisfaction, you want to record the, the entrance? Little satisfaction, is that what you said? So for your own satisfaction, I said. No, no, it's not for my satisfaction. It's for the viewers. So I can put it onto YouTube and show them anything that I find good or bad or entertaining about the site. I'll just put it on there, that's all. Just upload it. So what's your name then, buddy? Who's asking? Obviously, I'm one of the shift managers that work in the building. Yeah, yeah. When I said who's asking, you were supposed to give me your name then. So that works both ways. Does it? Do you want to go first? So I ask first, I'd like to know your name, please, so I can then let my bosses know that you're recording on site. Yeah, I'd like to know who's asking for the name, that's all. Is that reasonable? The, shift manager, the current shift, the duty shift manager is actually asking. So you're still not willing to give your name then? Vice versa, you're still not willing to give your name either. I've not said that. Are you refusing your name no. at this stage? No, I'm not refusing your name. I'll, I'll, I'll reply when you give me your name. Right, OK. So we're not giving each other names then. What's the next question? Yeah. No worries mate, you just carry on your own little world. See, I've got permission now. He said carry on, I'm allowed to do it. All right, thank Cheers. you. Thanks for your time. Take care. There we go. Permission granted in our own little world. So, are we entitled to come and have a look at these places? Do some filming and show the viewers? What's going on? I think so. There's no law against it. Citizen journalism. He was quite professional, although he said not allowed. I mean, he's just misinformed, but he didn't overstep the mark, did he? He now knows we are allowed. I gave him an example there of the Google Street car. And do we think these are going to be using the walkie-talkies, we turn it on and have a look. Yes, he mentioned GXO, didn't he? So DHL in partnership with GXO, which has also got some space available. 10,000 square meters available to rent on this site. Well, now we know that it has been escalated to a manager and he knows he, we will not be told what to do. I think the time has come to get David up and see what this place looks like from above. So as always, we've checked on drone assist. There are no flight restrictions in the area at all. The shunter driver keeps looking in our direction, doesn't it? Or one of these vehicles that are parked here, his maybe. So let's go and find out a little bit more. What are they handling here at GXO Take DHL off. Tamworth? Let's go find out. Home point updated. So there we are up at 46 meters and we can see the layout now. They don't want HGVs to come in here. So they've used it as a car park. <laughs> so HGVs come in down that long lane there, which is very good. 
it means when they are busy, vehicles are not queuing on the road. What about the traffic barriers? Because we could see that the out lane was broken. Yeah, in lane broken as well. And what do you think to the image at the front of this place? A bin which looks like it's full, an old locker, a motorbike. Hmm, not good. And even the sign there, look. This looks tatty, doesn't it? And then you get onto site. Uh, the exit and the entrance. You can come into the yard. And what other trailers do we have? Truck link. DHL, of course. And once again, the shunter who is getting great line of sight with us right now, circling around so he can keep his eye on us. So other trailers in the yard, Haulage Express, Truck Link again, Thompson's, Devon. There's a haulage company, Nichols behind, Mulgrew, another skip which is overflowing. It looks like some suspended ceiling in there. The air trail tracks units down at the bottom. And another entrance, exit. Oh, exit, yeah, give way. Doesn't look like it's used very much. Down to 69 bays down here. Oh, and it's going that way, okay. What's the spillage? Is it an old spillage or a new spillage? Is it paint or milk? I'm not getting many clues though about the goods. A burnt out forklift. You don't often see that, do you? I wonder if it happened just there, and that's the remnants of the fire extinguishers. That would be my guess, yeah. Once again, no clues from that skip or that one. Just a lot of mess around the outside. I hope it's not food, because this would not be very good. All this mess around the edges. And then as we look around the outside, we always comment on tidy pallet storage, don't we? Which that certainly is not. A little bit tidier down there. And what's happening in the back of that trailer? A scissor lift they're in a repair. And then we just need to see what's down this side. Hi. And what might that be? So that's what it is like here at GXO, DHL, Tamworth. We've heard what the staff are like. We've seen what the place is like. And now we just need to add a 360 degree photo to Google Maps, don't we? Oh yes. Craft will return to the home point in 10 seconds. So under this traffic cone here, we'll put the DJ Audit's key ring. So if you are one of the first people to watch the video and you do want a key ring, good luck with that. So the only vehicle that we've seen leave. is present PK69 
and he's actually put his blind across so we can't see his face. How unusual is that? And that's it from GXO DHL Premier Foods here in Tamworth. There's Thompson's Devon. Leaves the site. No hiding his face this time, is there? Or the professional haulier. No need to hide your face. He ain't bothered. Truck spotters. That's what we could be. Sparks transport spotters. So that's it. I have showed you already that the DJ Audit's key ring is under there. And we'll move on. Unfortunately, you ask your manager for advice, but the manager also believes that permission is required. And when you show him a comparison, like the Google streetcar, he says we're going round in circles. Ah. And starts getting a bit petty and childish, saying like, stupid little YouTube channel or something like that. But credit to the other guy, the DHL Gatehouse guy. He didn't stoop that low, did he? He just believed it was wrong. And he escalated it and passed the problem on to somebody who's paid more to deal with that type of thing. So that's it. If you have enjoyed that video, do give it a thumbs up for me. There's the bike. <laughs> and I'll see you on the next one, guys. Bye-bye for now.